Good afternoon, Mr. Koshi. Good afternoon. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you for coming. Delightful to be here. Uh, obviously, my first question would be in regard to Fukushima crisis and its consequences. Uh, Fukushima crisis has triggered a great debate on the future of nuclear energy. Uh, most notably, Germany has uh, made a decision to close all of its nuclear plants by 2022. In this regard, how do you see uh, future prospects for nuclear energy in general? Let me address from two points of view. It's a human reaction when you hear something bad, I want to avoid it. So I would say Germany's decision was a very quick one because the damage at Japan was much beyond imagination. But the other part is the Japanese plan faced a challenge much beyond what they considered to be reasonable. So the engineers designed it for a certain level of flooding and tsunami effects, but this was much more than what they anticipated. That is going to be a problem. But from IAEA perspective, we are trying to solve that problem so that when there is a significant tsunami, our plants will continue to be safe. So we are looking at solving it for an immediate fix and a short-term fix in the sense more calculated approach to solve that problem and a long-term fix so that our reactors would be more safe in spite of tsunamis or earthquakes. So we work towards that. So when we find solution to these problems, I believe a lot of countries who now immediately thought they don't want nuclear anymore would rethink because nuclear energy is one of the cheapest form of energy, lowest carbon footprint. There are significant benefits to considering nuclear energy as one of the energy sources in the total energy mix. So I think by the time we are ready with solving these problems, the countries would reconsider their opinion and change their views. Let's now turn to Kazakhstan. Okay. Could you please elaborate on cooperation between Kazakhstan and your organization? Uh, what is happening now and uh, what are the plans in the near future? Kazakhstan is a member of IAEA and all the members enjoy the benefits of using best of IAEA's knowledge and expertise towards every phase of nuclear plants. In the sense, I have handy with me some of the publications that we have put out. And this book is Milestones in the Development of a National Infrastructure for Nuclear Power. We are leading you through how to look at your energy options. We are not trying to promote nuclear power. How nuclear energy can solve your issues and make a country-specific evaluation so that you can make the best decision for the environment here looking at your other energy sources, other possibilities, energy cost, economics, long-term considerations. So we are helping you to look into all those aspects and make a decision on nuclear power. And if you choose to take nuclear power, it goes into the next steps of what are the things you need to do from the governmental side, building people and their skills, the various infrastructure that is needed, we are guiding you through all that process so that you could be successful. And that is the goal of IAEA. And we offer that to Kazakhstan. And we look forward to working with you so that we can assist you in every step of the way. And we call it cradle to grave in the sense, the beginning of the nuclear industry and dealing with waste and all those are part of IAEA's business. We stay with you all the way and give you the best of information from the experts around the world who are willing to share and we make it available. And these are some of the publications I brought so that you can have a first-hand look at you know, some of those to be very sure that we are in this all the way. Mr. Koshi, as you probably know, Kazakhstan is planning to build its first nuclear power plant. Yes. To what extent do you support that decision and uh, any word of caution that you can provide us? Okay. If you have decided on it, we will help you how you should proceed with the decision. In a sense, I believe that you have done a significant study in this matter and you considered all the surrounding facts 
and made that decision. And once the decision is made, we give you guidance on how to begin. In fact, we have another publication coming in the next, uh, say, probably four to six months, helping you decide which technology you should adopt. And that is a guidance given to member, member states to help you make that decision. So we are an impartial body, you know, we don't do favors. But we advise you the best advice we have so that you make the decision the best way and you proceed with that decision and we help you. And in fact, we send our experts for evaluations. We give you expert opinions. And even once you are into operation, we still come for evaluations and help you. So our goal is to keep nuclear industry safe and so long as you are using it for peaceful purposes, we are with you all the way. Mr. Koshi, thank you very much for sharing your insights. It's been very helpful. We appreciate that a lot. Thank you. It's uh, delightful to be here. My first visit. I'm very happy to be here. And it is very likely that I will be visiting you again. <laughs>